All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Also, want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring his work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, the women, the children that are part of the great multitude, that I listen to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right, and tonight's lesson. All right, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into how the law is not over and done away with, okay? Because these Christians, okay, they think the law is over done away with. All right, they think that you can do whatever the hell you want. All right, but who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ? He didn't come. He didn't. He didn't come so 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 you can do whatever you want. All right. He didn't die so you can be a homosexual. He didn't die so you can eat pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. All right. All right. So I'm going to pull out a few, a few scriptures. All right. And Lord willing, it's edifying. All right. And I'm going to start at John chapter 14 and verse 15. And it reads, if you love me, keep my commandments. OK. And this is written in red letters in the New Testament. OK, the Lord says, if you love me, keep my commandments. All right. So everybody, you know, say that they love they love God. All right. They love um, Jesus Christ. OK, but if you love the Lord, OK, you're going to do what he says. All right. The Lord says, if you love me, keep my commandments. All right. And let's get OK, because. Hey, the Lord is not asking a lot out of us. All right. All right, because how hard is it to not eat pork? All right. How how hard is it not to shave your beard? How hard is it not to have sex with another man's wife? All right. How hard is it not to be a homosexual? Okay. All these things that the Lord is asking us to do. All right. It's not hard. OK, he's not asking us, you know, to do a thousand push ups. He's not asking us to run 20 miles a day. All right. What the Lord is asking out of us is not a lot. OK, and this is John chapter five, and verse three. For this is the love of God. This is the love. All right. Not because our people, they lean on to their own understanding. OK, they go about to establish their own righteousness. All right, but you got to do what's written in these scriptures. All right, this is John, First John five and three. For this is the love of God, that we keep that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Okay, so the the, the commandments of, of of the Lord is not grievous. Okay, you know if you're um, when you first coming into this truth. Okay, yeah, it's hard to put off the ways of this world. All right. It might be hard for you to stop smoking weed. All right. It might be hard for you to uh, to not eat pork. OK, but once you once you stop doing these things, all right, over over an amount of time. All right. You start to see that the, the, uh, the commandments are, are, are not grievous. OK, so now, you know, when the brothers in this truth and we smell somebody smoking weed, you know, that shit. Um, almost make us want to throw up. All right, we hate the smell of uh, 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 of niggas smoking weed. All right, we hate the smell of cigarettes and black and miles. All right, we hate the smell of pork. We hate we hate the sight of, of, of shrimp and crab and lobster and oysters. All right, but you gotta you 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 gotta try, man. All right, and once you try, all right, you you uh. All right. Once once you start doing it, you know you you see that the commandments are not grievous. All right, and this is 
All right, because, hey, you got to try, man. All right, you know? This is James chapter 4 and verse 8, and it reads, Draw nigh to, to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay? So you got to draw nigh to, to, to the most high. You got to draw nigh to your how about now side, and he will draw nigh to you. Okay? You know? Because you, is some sin, I mean, some laws, it's easier to keep than others. Okay? It's not hard to not eat pork. It's not hard not to shave your beard. It's not hard not to get lineups. Okay? You 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 gotta draw nigh to the most high and he will draw nigh to you. Okay, he said, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. So you gotta cleanse your hands, okay? Cleanse your hands from from from, from the wickedness. Alright. Being game bangers, alright, selling drugs, alright? Being an adulterer, being a murderer, being a thief, all right? Lying to your brother, all right? Niggas scamming out here. You know, niggas doing all type of things, okay? But you you, you, you got to cleanse your hands, okay? You got to you, you, you gotta meet your how about Shemal Mashai, all right? You got to draw nigh to him, okay? And he will draw nigh to you, okay? But, but first, you got to make that step, okay? Let me get another precept. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. You see, so this is why we put on this earth. Okay. To keep the law, such commandments. Okay. To be serving you, how about Shema Shai. Not to be doing whatever the hell you want. Because Christianity, all right, they tell you that the law is overdone away with. You know, you, 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 you can eat whatever you want. All right. You could be a homosexual. You could come to, to, to the most high however you want. All right. God only can judge me, you know. But the Lord, OK, he always been speaking through his prophets. All right. The Lord is not going to come down and talk to you uh, individually. All right. He's not going to come down and, 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 and speak to you. The Lord, the Lord says, Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? So the Lord, he's speaking through his servants, the prophets. Okay? So when you come past these videos by the way to YouTube, all right? You walk past the man out there on the highways and byways. All right? That's the Lord, man. Man's goings are of the Lord. All right? And let me get another precept. This is Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. All right, it's written in red letters. Okay, these Christians tell you that you can, that 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 uh, that the Lord died. You know, the the Lord died, so so we don't have to keep the laws. Okay, we we can do whatever whatever we want. All right, but so this is Matthew chapter five and verse seventeen. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. See, so Yahweh Bashim, I mean, so Yahweh Shai, okay, he didn't come to destroy the law. You know, people think that he made, uh, that when he died on that cross, all right, he made that sacrifice. So now we, so now we can do whatever we want. We could smoke weed. We could be adulterers. We could be game bangers. You know, we can be homosexuals. All right, we, we, we can do all these things as long as we we, 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 we profess with our mouth that, 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 that the Lord and Savior, that, 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 that we love him and everything is all good. You know, the Lord says, if you love me, keep my commandments. OK, so ultimately at the end of the day, we're not saved by the law. OK, we in this flesh, we in the chains of darkness. OK, we can't keep every law to, to, to perfection, okay? But we try to keep the law, okay? We, we, we try to walk um, in, 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 in the way of Yahweh Shai, okay? You know? So you gotta, you, you have to try, man, all right? The Lord, he, he, he wants to see you try, all right? Try to the best of your ability, you know? 
So the Lord, he didn't come to destroy the law, but he said to fulfill. Okay, the, the, the Lord, he is a he is an example. Okay, because the Lord, he was in his flesh. All right. He was battling against his flesh. Okay. He, 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 he endured temptations. All right. And, 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 and he's our example. You know. He didn't sin. The law, the Lord, he kept the law 100%. Okay? So he's our example. Okay? He's our role model. You know, he's our big brother. All right? And if we say that we're Christians and we're followers of who the world is we call Jesus Christ, okay? You have to walk the same walk. The Lord didn't walk around smoking blunts. The Lord didn't walk around being a homosexual all right the lord he didn't come to destroy the law but he came to fulfill it all right and the lord he fulfilled it okay and and, and if we're followers of yahweh shai hey we we got to strive to be like him all right in verse 18 it says for verily i say unto you till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall not I mean shall and no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven all right so these christian pastors they're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven all right these false prophets Okay, two thirds of our people, all right, they're going to be the least in the kingdom of heaven, you know, because they're not preaching the hundred percent truth, all right. These pastors are not are not telling you to keep the law, such commandments. They're telling you that the law is overdone away with, okay. That as long as you call on the name of sweet Jesus, you can be saved, you know. You don't have to do nothing in the scriptures, but just believe in him. You know, there's more to it. All right. The Lord says, show me thy, show me thy works by thy faith. All right. And, I, and Lord willing, I'm going to get that after this. And it says, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. All right. And Lord willing, we, we those men. All right. We're telling, we're telling our people the 100% truth, okay, according to the Bible. We're telling our people to keep the laws, the commandments. We're telling our people to follow after Yahweh's shot, okay? And the scripture says in Romans 12 and 1, okay? Let me get that real quick. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren... By the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Okay? So we got to make our bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? It says, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And this is our reasonable service here. Okay? This is why we're put on the earth. We're put here to serve Yahweh Bashim Shah, to praise him. All right, to be the examples on the earth. Okay, we're supposed to let our light shine before men. Okay, and this is our wisdom in the sight of the other nations. Okay, but these these other nations, you know, they 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 we're we're we're, we're laughing stock. You know, these other nations they getting over on us. All right, because these other nations they know who we are according to the Bible. All right, in Psalms. The 83rd chapter says, you know, that all these nations, they in, they in confederacy against us. All right. They're trying to keep us away from our power. All right. They're trying to keep us in bondage, you know, keep us away from the law, touch of commandments. You know, and that's why all these other nations, you know, Moab, they feeding us pork, you know, feeding us rats and dogs. OK, selling us Jesus pieces. You know, pushing Buddh uh, Buddhism, pushing Muslim, 
and uh and, and Christianity, you know, because these other nations they know that they're they're, they're we're the most high chosen people, you know, and that's why they're trying to keep us in darkness. <coughs> Salakia. All right, let me get another scripture. It's Isaiah 59 and verse 2. But your iniquities have separated you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he would not hear. Okay, so our iniquities, you know, that's keeping us um, away from Yahweh Bashem al Shai. You know, and as I brought out in Psalms, the 83rd chapter, these other nations, they're in confederacy. You know, they're all at that round table trying to keep Jake destroyed, you know. Pushing all these false doctrines. You know? So our iniquities, that's what's keeping us away from Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Okay? That's why these Christian churches, you know, that's ran by that's ran by the so-called white man. Okay? That's why they telling us that the law's overdone and away with. You know? They push this. The, 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 the false messiah A so called white man Which is goes back to Cesar Borgir You know they, 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 they're, they're not telling us the correct names Of Yahweh uh, of the Lord You know You know all these things Is keeping us away from the Lord Okay and as long as these other nations You know they, they, they keep Jake in darkness The longer they rulership Gets to um, Gets to stand all right, but the scriptures say that you could do nothing for the truth, but for the truth, okay? You know, so it's prophesied in the last days that that, that his men are going to stand upon uh, stand upon their feet, okay? They're going to be out on the highways prophesying. You know, we we we, we will remember ourselves in the land of our captivity. All right, so no matter how much these nations they uh come together at the round table. All right, they can't stop biblical prophecy, you know, and we're breaking down the strongholds through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Okay, we know that those pictures that 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 you paint ain't, ain't the Messiah. All right, we know that the that 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 the Messiah is a so-called black man. All right, with white woolly hair. We know the correct names of of, of our Lord and Savior. All right. Because these other nations, all right, Esau in particularly, all right, they, they they use the Bible as a weapon. All right, John three sixteen, God so loved the world, you know. But the, but that world is talking about the world of Israel. All right, I'm read that again. It's Isaiah fifty nine and two. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. Right, man, our sins. And it said, your sins I have hid his face from you that he would not hear. All right. So our sins, man, that's what, that's what, uh, our sins, that's, that's what, uh, separate us between our power. All right. Eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster, celebrating, uh, July 4th, calling on false gods. All right. And this is Baruch chapter four and one. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. All right. So this law endures forever. And this is why Esau, he took out the Apocrypha. Okay. Scriptures like this. And it says, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such, but such as leave it shall die. And the scriptures say, for the wages of sin is death. And that's why Esau, he's pushing out death. All right. Pepperoni pizza. All right. Promoting hamburgers with, 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 with bacon on it. You got to start paying attention to these things. You know, that's why they that's, that, that's why they push this stuff. Jesus pieces. You know, they push your homosexuality. All right. You can do whatever you want. All right. Because keeping the law that gives us life. All right. And uh, let me jump down to verse 6. It says, You were sold to the nations not for your destruction, because ye moved the most high to wrath. 
you were delivered unto your enemies. You see, we was delivered unto our enemies because we wasn't keeping the laws. All right. And it says, verse seven, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. You see, we was calling on false gods. All right. We was following the gods, uh, the so-called gods of the other nations. You know, so the most high, he gave us over un 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 unto our enemies. Since you want to serve uh, these other nations and serve their gods, I'm going to put you under them. You see, and, and that's why we in this position that we in today. We, we in the ghettos. We going to our enemies for the one of all things, you know, so on and so forth. All right. So the laws, they're not over and done away with. We just read brute four and one, the law endure forever. All right. So from generation to generation. All right. So that was just a short lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I will close out by giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that are serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom at the water Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai for putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. Lord willing to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.